By Nicholas Rotherham Newsbeat Reporter Image Copyright Getty Images Image Caption Jeremy Corbyn at the Labour Party Conference in Liverpool in September 2018. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn won't critique the Prime Minister's dancing to ABBA, ill love dancing to others, he tells Radio 1 Newsbeat. I know my limits, but when it comes to her conference speech, and her criticism of his leadership which she called a national tragedy, he's happy to respond, she's nervous about Labour winning an election. Jeremy Corbyn wants the Prime Minister to call an election. He believes victory is there for the taking, people know that the old way of doing things is not working anymore, he said, ahead of AQ. But just what is his new way? On Brexit, Labour still appears to be split. The party's Brexit spokesperson, Sir Keir Starmer, has said that the option of staying in the EU would be on the ballot paper in any future referendum if Labour gets its way. But when Newsbeat asked the Labour leader to summarise his party's policy in a sentence, there is no mention of another vote. Labour Brexit policy is to guarantee jobs, protect living standards and ensure that we have an effective, intelligent trade relationship with Europe. And no hard border with Northern Ireland. If he doesn't like the deal, Theresa May agrees with the European Union. He says he'll tell her to go back and negotiate another one. But there are no assurances that she'll listen and there's a time pressure too. Image copyright Getty Images image caption flags from a demonstration against Brexit outside Westminster recognizing the state of Palestine, as we recognize the state of Israel and the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, there's no doubt where the labor leader stands, we will recognize a Palestinian state as soon as we take office, he says, it helps to bring about peace in the Middle East. It helps to bring about justice for the Palestinian people that gives them equal rights, but what about the accusations him and his party use support for Palestine as a cloak for a hatred of Jewish people, they should not and I hope would never do. That because it is about recognizing the state of Palestine and the rights of the people of Palestine, as we recognize the state of Israel, he tells Newsbeat, it is not, and never should be, a cloak for racism or anti-Semitism in any form. Image copyright Getty Images Image caption A mug on sale at the Conservative Party conference in Manchester, September 2018 A vegetarian since he was a pig farmer in his 20s, Mr. Corbyn talks a lot about a green revolution. Unemployment rates are at their lowest in 40 years, and he says he wants to create another 400,000 jobs aimed at reducing the UK emissions. A green job might be something like the manufacture of wind turbines, water panels or solar panels. It will be about renewable things like gas created from vegetation. Whilst there are high levels of employment, there are also very high levels of underemployment. People working on zero-hour contracts, that type of casual work is something Mr. Corbyn has long been keen to get rid of. Scrapping tuition fees the right thing to do. Hay also repeated his desire to scrap tuition fees, despite the government warning that would push up taxes and limit university places. We thought about it a great deal before the last election, he said, we realize it's expensive £9 billion and more per year to abolish student fees, but we believe it's the right thing to do and well raise corporate taxation accordingly to pay for it, even his beloved Arsenal football club errant safe from change under a Corbyn-led government, we're doing very well this season, but I want to have a subvention on all Premier League clubs to help fund grassroots football, he said, I spent quite a lot of time with amateur clubs in my area. They haven't got any money. They haven't got any facilities, but it's also about how the clubs are managed. I love Arsenal, but I'd like to have some say, as would the other 200,000 that support Arsenal. I think we should follow the German model on this. Follow Newsbeat on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Listen to Newsbeat live at 12.45 and 17.45 every weekday on BBC Radio 1 and 1 Extra. If you miss us you can listen back here.